Very interesting book, and I have to frankly tell you that uh, being a child that uh, had uh, maternal parents from the Congolese uh, Ugandan border, I was intrigued by the fact that uh, at one time the Belgian Congo actually had perhaps one of the best healthcare systems on the continent. I can, I can confirm that. I, I'm trying to see a country in Africa, I mean in sub-Saharan Africa, which had a better health system than Belgian Congo, uh, so far I've not found. Because in those days, even people from South Africa used to come to Elizabethville, mm -hmm. which is now uh, Lubumbashi, or even in Kinshasa, to be treated. So really, that's true. Congo, Bel Belgian Congo had, um, I would say, the best. Uh, still want, uh, still, I'm, I'm still waiting to be um, told that I'm wrong, but so far, I still believe that the Belgian Congo had uh, the best health system in Africa. Well, I have news for you, Doctor. It wasn't only South Africans coming to the Congo. My own maternal parents and relatives living in a place called Busanza used to go to a hospital called Rwanguba. Rwanguba. That's where they used to receive their treatment. Mm -hmm. Rwanguba, the, it's, it's a, a missionary hospital. A missionary hospital. In the eastern part of Congo, and it's still there. It's How still, does it look like today? It is still, it's still functioning. That's, that's also the other um, thing about the system that the... the the system that was put in that place, this system has been um, resilient. It has been going and throughout the, all the problems that the, co the country had, the health system had survived.